Hey Milk Biters, it's time for some more VGC. Still using the Metagross team that we used earlier in the week. Um, with the Rocky Helmet Latias, which might be my favorite part of the team. Um, again, creator will be in the description below as always. But our first battle, so there's Glamora Sushi Dozo. And they've also got Dragonite and Saber. So this is a team that has... Everything I do not like facing. <sighs> Explosion Metagross, I don't think knocks out Dozo. Also, if they protect them, we lose Metagross for that. Um, I'm... Uh, if we go Fluttermane... Um, we kind of want to save Urshifu. How are we feeling about... We could go Entei Fluttermane. Urshifu in the back. And then we can go Latias, I guess, as a swap in if we think they're going to do a physical attack. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about these four, but I feel like Amoogus doesn't do... Too I guess we could have brought Amoongus to like spore the dozo, but if the terra grass, um, we wouldn't be able to do that. So Fluttermane, Entei, Urshifu, and Latias. Um, okay, Saber Glamora. I mean, Saber Fluttermane. So either no Glamora, or they're not doing dozo sushi. Our booster goes. First, and are they booster special attack then? No, they are also booster speed. Um, so we speed tower that flutter main. Booster speed. We're either faster or we speed time. They could Terra. I think I'm all for. Going for the protect, I kind of want to see if Saber goes for, um... A Sucker Punch and their Flutterman, like, Shadow Balls into us. Um, and then I think a Sacred Fire is just honestly very solid. If we get the burn, may knock out if that Saber Tooth does have Sash. Um... Okay, so we protect. They did go for that Sucker Punch, so... And then, yeah, Shadow Ball. They doubled on the Flutter Man. Sucker Punch. Shadow Ball. Okay, you are Sash, but is there the burn? <laughs> and Day, look at you go! Protecting Flutter Man! As well as we can. So depending on what they bring in, if it's Dozo or Sushi, like I'm hoping it's not them. One of them. It could be Gamora Dragonite. Um, yeah, depending on what comes in, we may Terra. Ugh, oh, it is the Dozo. Okay, that's fine. I think we save. Artera. Hmm. Can we just go for a Dazzling Gleam? We got Icy Wind. What do we have in the back? Uh. Yeah, let's Icy Wind. They may swap out Fluttermane right now. And I think we'll just go for the Sacred Fire onto Dozo. Do we want to... I, mean, I think a wave crash knocks us out. So I think we're just gonna go for the sacred... We're gonna... Terra and Sacred Fire. Trying to go for that burn. Um, in comes Sushi. And then going Terra Grass in case if they go for a wave crash. Or an earthquake. And then I'm fine with them knocking out like... One of us. Because then we can get Urshifu in here. 
and uh, try and use Wicked Blow. I'm just interested in what what the Dozo is going for. If they Terra Dozo, okay. So there's a little bit of speed dropping. Sacred Fire. So they didn't Terra, but is there a burn? Yes. Entei. Entei is on a roll. Earthquake. Okay. Thank you. Beautiful, beautiful Ente. All right. I mean, that's and William's not gonna be doing a whole lot. I think we just go. We can honestly protect Fluttermane. We did get the burn. We could just Icy Wind again. Uh, I'm all for protecting. And I guess we just go for an extreme speed. Oh! They didn't like that we double burn their mons! I'll take it. I'll take it very... Very solid. We were just gonna try and stall out, let the um, burn get enough on the dozo, so that way, hopefully get it to the yellow before um, they did two more earthquakes to knock out Fluttermane. In doing that, um, then Urshfu could come in and hopefully like a wicked blow would be able to get it knocked out, because we'd be able to get like two more icy winds, um, which would have been very solid. So, you know, Fluttermane Entei, putting in the absolute work together let's go all right torn fluttermane crest heatran i haven't seen a heatran in a while urshifu and then ursaluna not the zombie bear the ground normal um okay so like crest could do trick room crest could do um Shenanigans to begin with. They do have Fluttermane. If the Urshfu isn't the water one, um, if they're the dark bear, Wicked Blow does a lot to... Uh, I don't think this is a game for Explosion Metacross. Because I feel like they either protect Trick Room, um, they have Fluttermane out in the front. Hmm. There you go. Maybe Flutterman Entei. Little, we gotta be a little bit careful of Sacred Fires just because of that Heatran there. Um, our Urshifu. And then... Huh. Where are their physical attackers? Rocky Helmet's not gonna help. Yeah, maybe we should have let Metagross go in for like a heavy slam or a bullet punch. That could have been better. Because um, I really don't see Ladius putting in too much, too much work here. Okay. Press Ursulina. So our booster goes off. I don't think there's a way we shut down. Press. Do we want to Terra Entei right now? Terra Dark, Terra Poison. I also just think they protect our Saluna. Okay, Crest Terras. <clears throat> 
Terra Fairy. So, mm, Metagross would have been. Oh, Ursulina doesn't protect. Oh, they just go for a sword stance. And there's the trick room. <laughs> yeah, with this, I think we let Fluttermane go down. Uh, we should have probably brought Amoongus, actually. That's what we should have done. Terra Grass, and then we'll go for the extreme. Oh, the thing is, Cress is just very annoying. Because it heals. Mm. I don't think we brought a, a, a solid lead. Extreme speed. Mm. Doesn't do much. Did Ente not Terra? Well, R.I.P. and I thought we tarred. That's that's on me for not checking. Chris has Trick Room, Moon Blast. Okay. Hmm. So I got a Moongus would be pretty cool here. We do have Sash. Okay. Well, if we bring in Latias, we do have Levitate. Fluttermane's going to have to take a hit. It won't be able to. It will die. I think we go for a double protect this turn. I guess we see how much a mist ball does. Ah, we missed the double protect. That's okay, there's earthquake, so it's only gonna hit Flutterman. If we got the double protect, that would've been cool, but like, there's still two more turns of trick room, so. Unfortunately, Flutterman wasn't gonna be able to survive. Hmm. We, uh, we should've teared there. The special attack drop is what sucks for that. We have to get two attacks off. I think we're gonna recover this turn. Um, we turn Latias just because I think it may be say like we may not have needed a terror, but if they decided to go for like Moonblast, um I think they double into their shifu thinking that we're sashed. Oh. Oh, that is no! Okay. Uh, they don't double into the Urshifu. We have to get to another Detect off. For the last turn of Trick Room. We do have Sucker Punch. Okay. We do at least get a knockout. We knock out the Ursaluna. This Moonblast will probably bring us um, to our Sash.
Yeah, Metagross. I feel like Metagross Entei. I mean, Metagross, um... I think Metagross is set of Fluttermane. And then... Amoongus instead of Latius. Um... Third, which it is the dark. Uh, Metagross, Entei, Gas Plus. Like, I think our shoes fine back here, but yeah, there's. I guess we'll see if there's dash. They may sucker punch us. Mm. They are slash. No? That crest put in work. Because if they didn't Terra, Fairy, like Metagross is still doing crazy damage. Yeah. I think we shouldn't have written off Metagross because we can't explode. Ah, uh, and them not protecting um, Ursulina turn one and going for the Sword Stance, crazy, crazy. Um, very hype, GG. Oh, what a battle. Mm, Torkoal, Hisuian, Lilligant, let's go! Hisuian, Lilligant. Insan, Zombie Bear, Cress, and Ndidi. Okay. You know, I like this. I like this. Just the amount of shenanigans, right? <clears throat> so you go Torkoal, Lilligant, after you eruption. Um. <sighs> they could also go Instant Crest, Fake Out Trick Room. Um. I think, regardless, I like Urshifu in the lead. If they don't have Psychic Terrain up, uh, we could go for a Sucker Punch. If they swap in. I mean, Entei should be able to kind of hold a lot of damage, right? Uh, if they go Trick Room, I think Amoongus is solid. With the fire and the ground, I'm really not feeling... Um, I guess I have to go Latias. I'm like, I'm not feeling Metagross just because the Torkoal, the Ensign. Um... <laughs> the zombie bear. Okay. Let's see what we did. Oh, they got a picture with Perrin. Let's go. Uh, we did bring Gus in the back in case if they do trick room shenanigans. Okay, Crescentson. So we kind of don't have to worry about a big eruption to begin with. Um... Hmm. Okay, I'm not this. This is not the most offensive team that we have. Um, I think we're gonna we're gonna attack with Urshifu, right? And then what do we want to do? I mean, I'm not opposed to them setting up Trick Room since we do have Amoongus in the back. Uh, it just means that they probably have Torkoal in the back. Um... Oh, Terra Poison! Okay! Terra Poison Crest. We have to remember we can't... Stomping Tantrum that. Because of Levitate. Hmm. This is bulky. Just going for a parting shot, maybe into Torkoal. We do have Sucker Punch Extreme Speed, so. <clears throat> oh no, they're just going Zombie Bear, okay. There's Trick Room. So now, the thing here is. 
do they have Ndidi? Is Ndidi their last mon to where Zombie Bear is their only attacker? Because they could easily swap out Cress. And we can't, um... Maybe we'll just go for the close combat there. It is zombie bear, so we could snarl. Huh. We'd also go for the sacred fire. <sighs> okay, they're just going for a hyper voice throat spray. Oh, it's life orb. Okay. So we do get this close combat. Oh, God. And then Sacred Fire. All right. We did get intimidated, so I think we're gonna protect with that, and then we're gonna go for the extreme speed. Because we didn't go for priority moves, if they have Ndidi in the back, I'm hoping they don't swap in Ndidi at this moment. No swap-ins. I'm hoping the extreme speed gets the knockout. Okay, well, you know. Does Life Orb knock out? Okay. And then. Ice Beam, Trick Room. So we're gonna see, they either bring in Ensign or... Well, we have Interred. It is Torkoal. So with this, we Terra Water Amoongus. Yeah, sun is up. Two more turns of Trick Room. We just, we just protected last turn, right? Yeah. What do we have in the back? Gladius. I'm trying to go first roll for the last turn of um, Trick Room, and they'll be a little bit. Um, a little bit slower, but the Terra Water should hopefully be pretty solid. We also do have Regenerator, so we can swap out Amoongus after these two turns of Trick Room. Crest Protects, which I'm all for. Sucker punch off. Like, eruption's still gonna do. Yeah, still gonna get the knockout on that, which is fine. We at least got a sucker punch off. Um, it's not safety goggles, is it? Any berries? Okay. Nice. So we have Vladius. Which, last turn of Trick Room. Huh. We know they have Incent in the back. I guess we just go for a Spore on Cross. Yeah, so there's turn one asleep for Torkoal. Okay, and then we get um, Cress's turn one asleep. So, see how much this Mist Ball does? A good chunk. And that special attack drop, which is nice. So, Trick Room is over. So, just try and Mist Ball that. I guess slowly see how much. But Latius is the fastest thing out here. Okay, Mist Ball, good amount. And special attack drops are also very solid. Crest is asleep for second turn. Uh, 
I'm purple. I was asleep for a second turn. Okay. Mistball can knock out Torkoal. I think we'll spore the crest in case if they wake up this turn. <gasps> the Torkoal woke up. Good wake up on that, okay. Cress also wakes up. Oh, fuck, not the lunar blessing. It's okay, we're lowering their special attack. Um, they're both at minus one. And Cress, go back to sleep. Take another nap. Togo protected. I'm like, we're gonna run out of mist balls at some point. Okay, we're gonna go for that. I guess we support the Torkoal, I don't know. Oh. You know, this this battle could have gone to time. It could have gone to time and I'm not too sure if we would have won. Our opponent just didn't, didn't want to deal with it. Their instant probably wouldn't have been able to do a whole lot of damage. Maybe only had, I mean, um, fake out, parting shot, flare blitz. Uh, which we would have only been able to like pawn puff an icy wind. It, so like we would have had to slowly be chunking away at the instant, but you know, I'll, I'll take it a Moongus. Hopping out with that battle. Let's go. Walking, walking wake fish. Urshifu, Torn, Fluttermane, and Dragonite. Okay. Okay. So they have that Fluttermane fish duo. <laughs> They've got Torn, Urshifu, and then Dingo, Torn, Walking Wake. Um, not too sure where Dragonite kind of goes here. Maybe it's just like a Terra Normal Extreme Speed shenanigans. Um, fish, Fluttermane. <sighs> we could... <sighs> My thing is, fish does a lot. If we go Entei Urshifu. I think we like Fluttermane in the back. And then I feel like we hmm, we haven't brought Metagross yet. The only thing that really scares it is the fish. So if we can get rid of fish, um, that would be nice. So hopefully they lead fish. Meta and Flutterman. Oh, look at this shiny Flutterman on the card. Let's go. Very hype. Um, okay, Dragonite or Shifu. Hmm. Is this the dark Urshifu? Oh. Huh. Just got priority shenanigans right now. If we get Sacred Fire burn the Dragonite, that would be pretty hype. We could also... I think we're gonna detect here. I feel like maybe they double into our Urshifu. Um, yeah, extreme speed. Urshifu is not even safe from its... Damn, okay, I forget about that. I forget about that. Okay, Sacred Fire Burn? No, okay. Well, then if you wanna go... The only scary thing here though is we need to knock out the Urshifu. So if they go for... 
Cloak Combat and Extreme Speed, Flutter Man won't take any damage. If they went for the Wicked Blow. Okay. Close Combat. They didn't go for an Extreme Speed with Dragonite. You get the burn on the Air Shifu, okay. That's okay. I feel like we want to tear a fairy. Just extreme speed with that. Do we need a tear a fairy? Extreme speed will go first. And Dazzling Glim would just get a good amount of damage. Dragonite, are you gonna Terra normal now? You are. Oh, Terra Steel! Okay. That's okay. Maybe we'll just, like, pop up some, like, if we can get an Icy Wind off. Extreme Speed knocks Urshifu out, so... so I really didn't care to Terra Fairy. Unless if this Dragonite has Terra Blast. Oh, it has Iron Head. Okay, so we just Sacred Fire the Dragonite, right? I mean... Okay, I think we want to go on Urshifu. Walking Wake Fish, Torn Flutterman. What is it gonna be? Torn? Okay. So, maybe not Fish? Maybe not. They could go... I feel like we have to protect. Okay, so if we go for the Sacred Fire, we're gonna have to detect here just because I feel like they extreme speed into Urshifu. Tailwind. Damn. Ah, uh, well. We tried. We cannot lock into explosion. Okay. We could just heavy slam the torn. Like, Dragonite just extreme speed knocks out. Oh. Damn. Okay, sorry, Urshifu. I really didn't tear anything. Damn. This Dragonite is putting in a little work. Okay. Heavy Slam Crit knocks out. So we at least gonna see if it's Fluttermane Fish or Walking Wake. It's walking wake. It's walking wake. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's, there's not, not much we can do. I guess we can see how much the Evian Slam does, but they. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, we should have Terra Grass. I'm like, maybe we should have Terra Grass Entei, but the thing is, this dragon we saw extreme speed, Iron Head. Um. It probably has, like, Aerial Ace. Um, I don't know if there's another move that we saw from it. Uh, they did good in the turns that I thought that they may have, like, doubled into us. I don't think they... Minus turn one. I don't think they went into... Like, they attacked into a Protect, which is very, very good. Very good on their end. Very happy. I think we could have probably chosen a better lead, um, but that team did it was, was, was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Um, but it's the end of the week, so we will, you know, I think we're 2-2 two, two right now. 
Yeah, two two. So let's go to let's let's go check out a fifth battle and uh, see how we do. Gouging fire, gouging fire, ogre pond water, Rilla, saber, fluttermane, and king gambit. Okay. Hmm. So gouging fire is very bulky. Very crazy. But they went like King Gambit gouging fire. Do we just... I mean, we can go meta. Our I think we want Fluttermane. And then... Entei's very solid. I kind of want to preserve our Terra for, for Entei just in case of like that Ogre Pond's here. Because um, otherwise I'm like, Terra Normal Explosion. You know what? This is probably the last battle that we're doing with Metagross, so... If they don't lead Fluttermane, we'll just try and get... get a big explosion off, why not? Um, meta Urshifu, Fluttermane, and Entei. Okay. Um, it's just, Gouging Fall also has like a protect move. Okay. Rilla, Gouging Fire. Grassy Train. That's booster. Speed. Ugh. The only thing here is really can fake out. Okay, we're gonna swap into Entei. Because I feel like, I feel like they're, I feel like we can't get the explosion off here. Because they just fake out fire move. Oh! Well. I guess we could have gone for an explosion though. Go for a sacred fire on that. Does Gouging Fire have... Hmm. Okay, let's just double into the Rilla. Ugh, I don't know. If they not get Urshu this turn, I'm not too upset because then we can... Uh... Okay. Take a fire going. Beautiful for an roller, but I think Wicked Blow gets the knockout. Yes, okay. Grassy Glide, so. Ogre Pond, Saber, Flutterbane, King Gambit. Ogre Pond, okay. Sucker punch something we could Okay, I think what we're gonna do here is we're gonna sucker punch and then go for um, we did Terra Entei <sighs> It just sucks because if Urshfu goes down like. Well, we could swap in Fluttermane to the explosion, right? It's normal. 
Okay, they're also gonna Terra. So yeah, they got their special defense boost. <clears throat> or if they clear the field right now, it's not not that bad. So I'm just gonna knock that out. Okay, let's see. <laughs> because at that point, it's gonna be down to Fluttermane and a dream. Oh, and taste still alive. going for it. We're going for it. Because why not? Why not? Swap into Flutterman. And we're gonna explode. We do have Entei Late Game. Uh, if we get some extreme speeds off on, if they, you know, don't have Flutterman as their last one. Um, we do have our booster energy proccing. We can swipe. That's okay. Ivy Cudgel. That's okay. Because let's go Metagross. Get the knock on both of these. Get it. Gouging fire just barely. Just barely. We do knock out the ogre farm. We get extreme speed gouging fire. And it is King Gambit. Protect Flutterman. I think we're gonna go for the Sacred Fire on um, King Gambit in case they go in for a Sucker Punch. Okay. Breaking Bulwark. We do get the Sacred Fire going. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Oh, that's a crit. Okay, wait. Um. Sacred Fire on a King Gambit crit matter. We'll take a look at that later on. Okay, we'll see if that's an OK. All right. So that we just, you know, snowball, but also extreme speed. Ooh, what a battle to end off on. I'll take it, I'll take it. Um, it would have been cool if Metagross was able to get, like, the knockout on Gouging Fire, but getting it so low, um, was very, very hype. It, very, very hype. Um, I do want to see if that Sacred Fire just, like, always Oko's, uh, King Gambit, because they did their terror on Ogre Pond, which is a special defense, so Metagross Explosion was still very hype. I can't believe I didn't realize until now, after all of the battles we've done, I don't have to protect with Fluttermane. Um, like, as long as Fluttermane isn't Terrid, we avoid the explosion. It doesn't matter. Um, but still, very happy in case if they're doing any any attacks before Metagross. But, you know, battles are very solid. I do... Team is very fun. Uh, very fun. Metagross... Big, powerful. But I think... Who did we like? The Entei was very solid. Amongus, when we brought it, super solid as well. Put in work. Um, but that's going to be it for our battles for uh, for today. Next week, I think we're going to be taking a slightly updated Primarina team that we tried like two weeks ago. Um, see about how, how those battles go on the ladder. But hopefully y'all enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to like. And until next time, you know, be cozy. <laughs>